What's going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for coming back for this week's vlog. And this week I'm actually going to be telling you guys about the time when I had alcohol poisoning. This happened during my junior year of high school and I was only about 16 years old. So I'm not even old enough to be drinking at the time. But this was like the peak of my high school partying days. I was going out every weekend drinking and getting sauced with my friends. I just loved going out at the time. So the story takes place at around February because I remember we were in the middle of doing our spring high school musical. The show we were doing was Guys and Dolls and I was playing Sky. And we were about to go into our tech week on that Saturday. But my friends really wanted to go to this DJ Blend concert on Friday, so like the day before. And I only have two pictures from that night and they would be this one and this one. Don't ask me why my shirt is like that. I don't know why. I really thought I was that bitch at the time. And me being dumb and thinking I was that bitch thought it was a really great idea to go to this concert the day before we start tech week. So earlier on in that day, I went to school and then I went to rehearsal. And at the time I was running six miles a day, eating only 1200 calories. But on this day, I thought it was a really good idea to skip dinner so I would get extra drunk when we went out. This was probably my first mistake. So my friends meet at my house so we can pregame together, and I remember taking about like nine shots of absolute vodka, drinking two mimosas, and then having a beer in a matter of like 90 minutes, not even. And that would be my second mistake. So we get in the car, and at first I was fine, and I remember that the venue was only about 10 minutes away from my house. But by the time we got there, I was absolutely smashed. And I remember thinking I shouldn't go in, but I didn't want to look like a pussy, so I went in anyway, and that was definitely my third mistake. So we get in there, and we're in there for about 20 minutes, and I tried not to move around or like dance too much because I knew that if I did, it was just gonna all be over. So I thought if I stand still, I would be able to power through the night, right? So I'm kind of standing in the corner, not really moving that much, and then this girl, tries to start dancing with me and she's putting her ass all up on me and I fell over. I literally could not stand up. And at this point, I knew I was in trouble. So I start thinking to myself, maybe I need to sit down. So I tell my friends, listen, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and take a second to myself. Like, you guys hang out over here and do your thing. So I go into the bathroom and I go into a stall and I sit on the toilet and I remember sitting there like this, holy shit, I'm so drunk, I need to get out of here. So I call my mom and I tell her, listen, I'm really drunk, I need you to come back and pick me up. I know you just dropped me off like 20 minutes ago, but I need you to come back. So my mom says to me, all right, no problem, I'll be right there. And maybe two seconds after I hung up the phone, I start throwing up everywhere. And I don't even remember throwing up that much because shortly after I threw up, I blacked out. And this is the time in the story where my memory starts to be very spotty and I don't really remember much of anything. But my friends told me that one of the workers who saw us together went up to them and told them that I had gotten taken out in an ambulance. And I don't even remember getting in this ambulance, but I do remember waking up in one. For maybe about like a minute, I remember being in this ambulance, and then I passed out again. We had gotten to the concert maybe about like nine o'clock, but I woke up in the hospital at 4 a.m. So I wake up in the hospital bed and I'm hooked up to an IV and my mom is sitting in the corner. And the only sensation I remember feeling in my body was that my stomach felt like a raisin. So my mom sees that I'm waking up, she comes over to me, she starts asking if I'm okay, she's asking what happened, and I'm just like, sis, I'm sauced right now. I, I can't even talk to you about it. I just gotta go home. So the nurses kept coming in and out for about 30 minutes before they released me. And I remember like getting out of the hospital bed I needed like two nurses to put me in a wheelchair and wheel me to my parents car it was like the most embarrassing thing and I just was sauced and covered in vomit it was like a real walk of shame but like a wheel of shame because like I couldn't walk so my parents put me in the car and I remember seeing my dad and my dad was so Piss. He was absolutely livid, and if I wasn't so drunk, he probably would have like backhanded me. So we're in the car driving home. My dad's like, Aunt, you're an idiot. How could you do this? How could you get that drunk? Don't you know your limits? You're lush, you're this, you're that. And my mom is sitting there actually defending me. I don't know who she thought she was sticking up for, me sitting there like, and she's like, oh, don't call him an idiot. He's a good boy. But that's not even the worst part of the story. The worst part was the hangover. And the fact that I was then going into tech week 
that day. So me, being the ambitious Aquarius that I am, decides that I need to buck up and live with my decisions and go to rehearsal the next day at 10 a.m. So with like five hours of sleep, alcohol poisoning, and the worst hangover of my life, I decide I'm going to rehearsal at 10 a.m. So I get to rehearsal and I'm clearly zonked and everyone there knew that I was not feeling it. And I was pretty transparent with everyone saying like, listen, I was really drunk last night, but I didn't want to tell them I had alcohol poisoning because like, that's just extra. I'm getting my costume on, I'm putting like my makeup on for the show, and I just remember thinking that like I need a bed right now. I need to be horizontal for like 40. So we're getting ready to perform, right? And we're doing the opening number, and I remember as soon as those stage lights hit me, I saw stars. I literally ran off stage, found the nearest garbage pail, and started puking my brains out. It was so embarrassing. I feel like I get like sick in public way too often. This hasn't happened to me since then, I promise. But I don't know, maybe I need to learn when it's time to call it quits and like stay home and stay in bed. That was probably like the worst hangover I've ever experienced in my life. I remember being hungover into the next week and I'm surprised that I didn't get in trouble for showing up to school like basically still drunk. I really don't know how I got away with that one. But if any of my teachers from high school are watching this, I'm sorry, I was absolutely ossified. I literally had alcohol poisoning. I'm so sorry I did that to you. All right, you guys, that's it for this week's video. I hope you guys liked this story or like took something away from it or learned exactly how not to conduct yourself when drinking alcohol. I can never drink absolute vodka ever again in my lifetime. And if you guys wanna hear other stories like this one, drop it in the comment section below cause you know I'd be reading it and interacting with you guys in there all the time. And as always everybody, if you like this video, be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up, click subscribe below, hit the bell button for notifications every time I post, and make sure you're doing something to spread some positivity this week. We're making people smile and spreading positivity. Just do it, okay? You promise? Promise. Thank you, promise. Hell yeah, let's go. And I love you guys, and I will see you guys next week. Okay.